everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will be determining output elasticities of factors in case of Cobb Douglas production function. So, let's first understand what is output elasticity. So, what is output elasticity? Output elasticity is simply the percentage change in output that is caused by a given percentage change in variable factor. So, percentage change in output that is caused by percentage change in variable factor. And other factors are held constant. So, let's determine output elasticity of labor in case of Cobb Douglas production function. So, how do we represent Cobb Douglas production function? Cobb Douglas production function is represented in this way Q is equal to A L raised to alpha K raised to beta. So, this is our Cobb Douglas production function. So, we have two inputs labor and capital, and A alpha and beta are our constants. So now we need to determine the output elasticity of labor. Now our output elasticity of labor so output elasticity of labor will be mathematically given as follows. So we know that output elasticity is percentage change in output uh, that is caused by percentage change in our variable factor. So now how do we represent it mathematically? So it will be dama q by q divided by dama l by n. So this is how we represent output elasticity of labor. Now, Further simplifying this, what we get is dama q by q into L by dama L. So, we can write this also in this way. Now, this can also be written as dama q by dama L into L by q. Now, when we know that our q is equal to a l raised to alpha k raised to beta, so what is our marginal product? So, our marginal product of labor in this case, we represent it as daba q by daba l. So, this is how we represent marginal product of labor. And what is average product of labor? So, our average product of labor, it is given by Q by L. So, now this looks familiar now. So, we can write the output elasticity of labor as, so daba Q by daba L is marginal product of labor. And now L by Q will be given as divided by, so Q by L is APL. So 1 by APL, that is average product of labor, will be L by Q. So this will be MPL upon APL. So to determine our output elasticity of labor, we need to find MPL and APL that is marginal product of labor and average product of labor. So, a Cobb Douglas production function is represented as A L raised to alpha K raised to beta. And since the output elasticity of labor is given by MPL upon APL, so we are going to determine marginal product of labor and average product of labor first. So, 
marginal product of labor in this case would be equal to daba q by daba l so this is a partial derivative that is we are differentiating q with respect to l so when we do this we take our k as constant so our k will be constant in this case so we have two constant that is a and k raised to beta so we have a k raised to beta as constant the only term that we need to differentiate is l raised to alpha so l raised to alpha we are going to differentiate this term now we all know that there is a basic rule of differentiation as we have already seen in our previous video that differentiation of x raised to n is nx raised to n minus 1 so we have n in this case as alpha so mpl that is marginal product of labor will be given as a k raised to beta into now l raised to alpha will be given as alpha l raised to alpha minus 1 so we can write this as a alpha l raised to alpha minus 1 into k raised to beta so this is a marginal product of labor similarly we are also going to find a average product of labor so average product of labor is given by q by l so our q in this case is a l raised to alpha k raised to beta divided by l so what do we get us a average product of labor will be given by a l raised to now this will be alpha minus 1 into k raised to beta so this is a average product of labor so now coming on to output elasticity of labor so our output elasticity of labor will be given by so output elasticity of labor is given by what so output elasticity of labor is mpl upon apl marginal product of labor upon average product of labor but from a previous slide what do we get us mpl is a alpha l raised to alpha minus 1 k raised to beta but now what we have is our mpl is equal to a alpha l raised to alpha minus 1 k raised to beta so this is a marginal product of labor 
Now coming on to average product of labor, what we have is, so average product of labor is A, L raised to alpha minus 1, K raised to beta. So our average product of labor is A, L raised to alpha minus 1, K raised to beta. So now substituting the values of marginal product of labor and average product of labor, what do we get is? So our output elasticity of labor will therefore be equal to So, it will therefore be equal to A alpha L raised to alpha minus 1 K raised to beta whole divided by A L raised to alpha minus 1 K raised to beta. Now, what we get is? A, A gets cancelled, K raised to beta gets cancelled, L raised to alpha minus 1 also gets cancelled. What remains is only alpha. So, what do we get is? Therefore, our output elasticity of labor in case of Cobb Douglas production function is equal to alpha, which is exponent of our labor. So, it is alpha. Now, Coming on to output elasticity of capital. Now, similarly, we are also going to determine our output elasticity of capital. So, output elasticity of capital will be mathematically given as daba q by q divided by daba k by k. So, that is percentage change in output that is caused by a given percentage change in our capital. So, we are going to determine again. So, further simplifying this what we get is so, simplifying this, we can write this as daba q by daba k into k by q. So, we can also write this as daba q by daba k into k by q. And we have Cobb Douglas production function as what? So, we have Q is equal to A L raised to alpha K raised to beta. So, this is our Q. So, our marginal product of capital in this case would be? So, marginal product of capital would be equal to daba Q by daba K. And our uh, average product of capital would be given as. So, our average product of capital would be equal to Q by K. So, average product of capital is Q by K and marginal product of capital is daba Q by daba K. So, we can write this as daba Q by daba K is marginal product of capital divided by since APK that is average product of capital is Q by K. Therefore, 1 by APK would be equal to, this would be equal to K by Q. So, therefore, K by Q would be equal to 
1 by average product of capital. So, our So, our output elasticity of capital will be given as marginal product of capital upon average product of capital. Now, to find the output elasticity of capital, we need to first find marginal product of capital and average product of capital. So, our Cobb Douglas production function is represented as Q is equal to E L raised to alpha K raised to beta. So now our marginal product of capital would be given by. So our marginal product of capital will be equal to daba Q by daba K. So now this means a uh, differentiation of Q with respect to K and taking L as constant. So in our previous videos, we have discussed about partial derivatives. So now, we have two constants now, that is A and L raised to alpha. So A, L raised to alpha, so the only term that we need to differentiate is k raised to beta. So now differentiation of k raised to beta would be, so again using the basic rule of differentiation, so the derivative of x raised to n is nx raised to n minus 1. So in this case, our n is equal to beta. So our marginal product of capital would be given by a l raised to alpha into, now differentiation of k raised to beta, since our n is equal to beta in this case, so this will be beta k raised to beta minus 1. So this can also be written as a beta into n raised to alpha k raised to beta minus 1. So now this becomes a marginal product of capital. Similarly, we are also going to find our average product of capital. So our average product of capital is Q by K. So our Q is A L raised to alpha K raised to beta. So we just need to divide this term by K. divided by k. So now what do we get in this case is we get a l raised to alpha and k raised to beta minus 1. So our apk would be given as so we can write our average product of capital as a l raised to alpha k raised to beta minus 1 and therefore our output elasticity of capital would be equal to now
output elasticity of capital would be equal to so this would be equal to marginal product of capital upon average product of capital so now we have seen that our marginal product of capital is a beta l raised to alpha k raised to beta minus 1 and a p k that is average product of capital is a l raised to alpha k raised to beta minus 1 so now using these values we will find our output elasticity of capital so this is equal to a beta l raised to alpha k raised to beta minus 1 and our average product of capital was a l raised to alpha k raised to beta minus 1 so substituting these two values we will find our output elasticity of capital so our output elasticity of capital will be equal to so mpk that is a beta l raised to alpha k raised to beta minus 1 whole divided by apk that is a l raised to alpha k raised to beta minus 1 so what do we get as a a gets cancel l raised to alpha gets cancel and k raised to beta minus 1 also gets cancelled so now what remains is just beta so our output elasticity of capital is equal to beta so output elasticity of capital is equal to beta so what we have seen is our output elasticity our output elasticity of labor is alpha and our output elasticity of capital is equal to beta so now we have seen that in case of comp douglas production function our output elasticity of labor is alpha and output elasticity of capital is beta so alpha and beta are the exponents of labor and capital so we see that in case of comp douglas production function our output elasticities of factors are constant hope you like this video for more such videos do like and subscribe our channel thank you